Hey, what is up? I'm doing something special. First 50 people to direct message me right now your health issue. Tell me what you're dealing with. I'll send you a personal audio message response from me telling you what steps you need to take. Also, be sure to text the word T-Walk to the phone number 41372 to get that free guide of foods, deep, foods to avoid. It also gets you the link to my course if you want that. But drop your questions. I'm live right now, chilling in the car right now. Let me know what questions y'all got. Where y'all at? Where y'all from? How y'all feeling? I ain't been like really live in a while, while. A lot of my lives be live replays. Cause you know I got all the tricks for y'all know I know everything there is to know about social media marketing. So most of the time when y'all are watching me live now, I'm not actually live. It's replays. I'll be honest with y'all. Just like all my posts are replays. If you want new content, it's in my holistic health university. What questions y'all got? Flood your questions, which y'all want to talk about, whether it's health, wealth, whatever. Let me pin this comment real quick. Where y'all at? Comment one if you can hear me. Somebody said high blood pressure. All you got to do is cleanse the blood, cleanse the arteries. If you got high blood pressure because your arteries are clogged up, you're eating foods that are unhealthy, as we already know. You should already know what foods are unhealthy because if you text the word T-Walk to the phone number 41372, you get that free guide, all right? Be a high blood pressure, super easy to knock out. Um, I have thousands and thousands of testimonials of people who no longer have high blood pressure or no longer on those medications that they put them on. Shout out to California. Um, but yeah, really, it's just cleansing your blood. Same things with the cholesterol. High cholesterol is just a buildup of the fatty substance cholesterol in the blood. So you need to cleanse the blood to get the cholesterol down. You need to cleanse the blood to get the blood pressure down. Blood cleansing herbs. I've been telling y'all for five, ten years now. Burdock root, yellow dock, dandelion, Jamaican tar sarsaparilla. You can get the iron tonic still. Link in the bio if you don't want to make your own. Let me see. How to hydrate yourself by the water not doing it. Of course it's not. Because you're probably drinking unhealthy bottled water, which has ingredients in it that actually dehydrate you or actually make you thirsty. So therefore, you crave more of the unhealthy bottled water when you should be just drinking fruit. Get yourself a juicer. How many times I got to tell you, pay attention to the free game I've been giving you for every single day. New videos for 10 years straight. Never miss a day. Free God of Foods D. Text the word T-Walk to the phone number 41372. You know what I mean? So hydration is easy. <laughs> my buddy, my buddy, wherever I go, he go. That too, but <laughs> my buddy, my buddy. Come on, get you some coconut water. If you don't have access to real coconuts, get you, get you <laughs> the harmless harvest. Yeah. Stay in your place, I recommend, or say I load up my... <laughs> Wherever I go, you got to tag along. Let's see. You know, I get this a lot. People say, what's the best substance? Which I'm allergic to. I'll make a video about walnuts. They say, well, I'm allergic to walnuts. What should I do? Not eat walnuts. <laughs> Come on now. Watching you from Barbados. What's the weather like in Barbados? I've never been to Barbados yet. But not for real. Like, if you got allergies, you just got to find different things so it depends on so like for instance somebody just asked what was it i think you said you had a, a tree nut allergy right so you say what tea walk what should i substitute since i have this allergy i'm not able to give you that answer thoroughly enough because i don't know why you wanted to consume the nuts in the first place you follow me when i eat everything that i'm consuming is for a reason you know what i mean you understand that? I got tons of videos breaking that down on my YouTube. Follow my YouTube channel. Name's the same on there. It's awesome here. And coconut. Yeah, I know there's got to be mad. Mad coconuts there. Thank you for the free guide. Yeah. Again, first 50 people direct message me your health issue. I'll send you a personal audio message response. I was actually sitting here. Look, with my two other phones. Sending audio messages. Yeah, I'll be. <laughs> I really do this content stuff. Don't forget. Y'all know I teach all that crypto and 10 plus other streams of income in the university. Shout out to the thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of members. Uh, well over 5,000 members now in my holistic health and finance university. We're following those crypto notifications, my exact investments of how I'm going to make millions within the next 12 months just from crypto alone. It's not including my business, other investments, the land I own, stuff like that. Right? I teach all this. And I teach you how to... See, when it comes to investing, people want to learn. I'm going to get back to the health questions. People want to learn about what can I invest in to make me a lot of money fast and easy, right? Let me keep it real with you. 
Investing to flip your, flip your money is easy, but it's not easy until you get a high income earning skill set so that you can have more money to pour into your investments. Comment one if you feel what I'm saying. Comment one if you understand what I'm meaning. You know? So, for instance, for me, like, you know, I've been teaching y'all crypto for over four years now, right? So, four years ago when crypto spiked, like it does every four years, I had less money to invest. But because between 2020, when I first was getting my initial, you know, that's when I first quit my job. Y'all see those videos, stuff like that. During that time, I've been grinding. And during that time, I've been making more money per month and not spending my money on dumb stuff. Y'all see the McLaren, y'all see the change, y'all see the, the shades I be buying and all that, right? Y'all see that. But that's a very, very small portion of what I spend my money on. And even when I do spend my money on expensive stuff that gets your attention, right? Because people want to, people want to, <laughs> something that grabs their attention. That's why I always, if I buy expensive Versace glasses, I'm going to buy the shiniest ones. When I go into the sunglass store or any designer store or something like that, I'm looking for the most standout stuff because I'm going to use it in my videos to get people's attention. You understand? But even these glasses, go watch my videos. I had these same glasses for like four years now. <laughs> so yeah, they're Versace and they look like, oh, he balling. No, I spent $700 on these when they first came out four years ago and I keep them clean so I don't have to continue to spend money on dumb stuff. You following what I'm saying? So what I'm saying is I make sure that I'm grinding so I can make more money. I use that money and invest it on things that make me more money so that when things like this happen, which crypto is about to spike like crazy the next 12 months, I have money put aside. So for instance, like a lot of y'all that are in my university or comment too if you're following along, right? I know we got on finances. We always do with mindset because that's just where, that's just what I'm passionate about, right? You're not going to box me in because I know a lot about very important things in this life that they can help upgrade you, right? Remind me to, I gotta remember to say that. But so for instance, last four years ago, I had, I had accumulated up to like 40,000 to invest. And I turned that 40,000 into, I posted a screenshot on my story, 282,000 in like $800 from crypto alone, right? In a matter of like six to eight months, I just put 40,000 in, right? And it turned into 280 over a quarter million, right? So I wasn't able to make a million from crypto. One, because I didn't have enough knowledge on it back then. And I would have had to have been more risky to turn 40,000 into a million. And at that point, I didn't feel that I was ready to be that risky and get more meme coins and the lesser known coins. You know what I mean? The smaller market cap coins. So I played it safe and I turned my 40,000 into 280,000. Cool, right? But a lot of you are in a position, let's say you are familiar with crypto and you do understand the bull cycles and understand it's about to spike right now. So it's good you understand that. If you're in my university, you thoroughly understand it. You even know the coins that I'm recommending to you that can 10X, 20X, 30X, 100X. I've even gave you, gave you the chart on, I've even gave you the chart on what you can expect, right? And how to take profits. So you may have to choose those riskier coins because you want to quit your job, right? So maybe you only have $5,000 to invest, $2,000, and you want to turn that $2,000 into $50,000, $300,000. You would have to make more riskier investments into these crypto coins. You understand what I'm saying? For me, because I started four years ago, I've been accumulating knowledge and accumulating wealth. I'll be honest with y'all. Now I have over... I just redid my chart. Over 200 and 230,000 invested into crypto. So almost a quarter million in my crypto accounts between all of my you know my um my accounts, right? So because I was smart with my money for those 4 years, why accumulating knowledge and accumulating more finances and more high income earning skill sets, right? side hustles, other investments that I could take from, all right, I flipped this land over here. Boom. Now that got me, I turned that 5,000 into 20,000. Now I'm going to take that and I'm going to put it in crypto because I know it's about to happen. So it's all about timing it correctly also. So it's always about leveling up your knowledge. 
But I say to say, because I have a quarter million invested in crypto now, I can be much less risky because all these coins I'm invested in is going to minimum 4X. 4X ain't nothing in crypto. So to turn my quarter million into a million, I only need the 4X. So I ain't got to set it in there and be like, oh no, I need it to 8X, 10X. And then you're being more risky. So you, you increase the chances of you losing money. Does that, under, do y'all, do y'all understand what I'm saying? Comment three if you understand what I'm saying. Just want to give y'all some crypto. Y'all always got to give y'all some crypto talk. So always spend your free time learning how to make more money. That's important because it's going to allow you to create more freedom, right? Because when y'all hear me talk about money, people get upset. I know I teach holistic health, so I'm not supposed to talk about money. I'm only supposed to talk about, I know y'all are really upset that I didn't go live and talk about the eclipse yesterday and I haven't done any videos hugging trees in a while and I don't have a... The uh, I don't have an aunt tattooed right here on my chest and I don't have my crystals on today and I haven't done any videos on chakras. I know that upsets you, right? That's great. Those all play their roles. However, you can do all that to uplift yourself mentally, to improve your vibration, right? To become more spiritually in tune with yourself. But all that is irrelevant if after you do that, you have to go to your job that you hate, in your car that you hate, in the town that you hate, with the weather that you hate, back home to your partner that you hate because you're only with them because y'all because you can't afford to live on your own, to the bills that you hate are piled up, to your bad credit score that you hate, to the lack of funds in your bank account, which you hate, to the fact you can't afford the best things for your child, which you hate, to your ain't shit baby dad, which you hate, to your whole life that you hate, right? But then you said Indian style and rub your crystals, right? And you do your sound bowls. That's all great. But you're still going to be miserable and depressed after you get finished with the sound bowl if you hate everything else in your life. And most of those other things that you hate in your life would be fixed if you fix your finances. Your finances won't be fixed until you fix your level of intelligence on what money is, on what crypto is, on real estate on land, right? So, you know, I want to say I appreciate y'all that support me for who I am because I can only be who I am, right? Somebody said to me, like, was it two days ago? They said, uh, it was somebody that was broke. (laughs) They said, money can't buy happiness. I guess, I don't know, it was a video of me and my McLaren. Yeah, this is a money can't buy happiness. And I didn't respond, but my thought was, it can buy a lot more happiness than being broke can buy. <laughs> Comment three if you feel what I'm saying. When people say money can't buy happiness, I'd be like, you ain't, never, you ain't had enough money yet. That's the problem. <laughs> you ain't had enough money to book a trip to Bali off of the random. You ain't had enough money to go to Disney World for eight days with a five hour notice and book a first class flight. You ain't had enough money to pay off your credit card bills and have no debt at all. You ain't had enough money to buy your first property. You ain't had enough money to set up uh, Airbnbs in DR and Texas and Atlanta. You ain't had enough money to put a quarter million into crypto knowing it's going to turn into three million in a matter of eight months with you doing nothing but pressing sell and transferring it to your bank account. When someone says, money can't buy happiness, you ain't had enough money yet. That's all the problem. That's all it is, right? <laughs> I get it, but nah, 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 nah. But you know, I, I can only be me. I can only be me. You know what? I want to say, <laughs> listen, you know, I always, I always shout people out because I show love. There's no hate in my system. You know, a lot of y'all always compare me to Yaki, right? Shout out to Yaki, right? And I want to, you want, you understand if you was to create a player, right? <laughs> Say you were on a game and you could create a player and your niche was a holistic healer, right? You would create Yaki, right? <laughs> so I understand why people love him, right? And I got love for him too, because he's teaching positivity and health. However, If you were to create a holistic healer on a video game, you would not create me. And I understand that, which is why a lot of people don't like me. (laughs) 
coming through. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, this, like, you know, if you was the crate holders, you would create somebody who knows how to farm and is buying land to grow crops and someone that probably had dreads and dark skin and someone that used very big words and had a doctor's degree and did taught all over the world on stage and did lectures. That's who you would create. <laughs> so shout out to him for being the ultimate holistic creative player, right? With the 99 overall <laughs> as a holistic killer, right? <laughs> but then I also don't like when people compare me to people, not even just them, because there's nobody doing what I'm doing, right? Let's keep it real. Nobody's teaching crypto at this level. Nobody has a university where they teach you 10 plus streams income and have a high level of knowledge on holistic health, right? And teach you social media marketing, right? <laughs> And add a lot of humor and comedy into it. And don't give a damn. And be cursing. And just am who I am, right? And I'm not religious. I'm just me. I can only be me. Right? So I understand why with me, you either love me or you hate me. <laughs> I would create you in a colorful Gucci robe. Yeah, it would look it would look crazy on a video game. But then when we start ticking stats, right? You know how you slide the overalls over when you're creating a player? Like, all right, let's see, let's say for Holistic health, you would probably slide my meter to like some of y'all 99, but others might be like, I'm at least like a 91 overall when it comes to holistic health, right? <laughs> I'm at least a 91 overall. But then you got to go down to the <laughs> the cryptocurrency knowledge meter. And you got to slide that up to about 95. Then you got to go down to the social media marketing overall and slide that to 99. Then you got... <laughs> So overall, I feel I'm pretty rounded. Let me get back to the health questions. I just wanted to go live and talk some shit, add some, bring some smiles into your life. In fact, you cover all bases, knowledge in life, and you're funny as fuck. Hey, you know, it's only me. I've learned so much in university. Let's get it, Daniel. What you learned? Let him know. Hey, if I can talk shit real quick. Y'all want me to talk more shit? Still, nobody posts more healing testimonies than me. Nobody's posted brand new testimonials every single day for four years straight. It's never happened. I think we had like four years and two months straight now. Every single day, I leave the names in them so you can verify the real. All they did was join my holistic health and finance university. Oh, by the way, by the way, nobody's charging what I'm charging either. Nobody's going to give you every protocol for every disease for $29.99. You understand? It's never been done. Right? Nobody's gonna give you their exact crypto investments. Right? Nobody's gonna do that for twenty nine ninety nine. And answer questions every day in the private telegram group for twenty nine ninety nine. And teach ten plus other streams of income for twenty nine ninety nine. And take you from beginner expert on holistic health for twenty nine ninety nine. All one cost. Never been done before. You understand that, right? Comment one if you understand that. Yeah, it's never been done. Let me see. Yeah, people love them and other people's light. I know. I know. It's part of the game, though. What's your opinion on sunscreen? No. No. No, I did a ton. I got like three videos on sunscreen. Crypto is the future and will be involved in all industries. It already is involved in a lot of industries. They just ain't announced yet. Yeah, so. I got my other phone on me. I ain't got no service on this one, do I? Let's see. I only got one phone that actually has service. This one, I got to connect the Wi-Fi, but I'm not about to do it because then it's going, um, my hotspot is going to slow down my live connection. Let me see. Comment some questions real quick. Again, where y'all at? Where y'all from? If you haven't yet, check that pinned comment. Text the word T-Walk, T-W-A-L-K, to the phone number 41372. Get that free guide of foods to eat, foods to avoid. That'll also send you the link to my university. Yeah, now nah, a lot of that sunscreen, though, got cancer-causing ingredients in it. They've already announced it, took some off the shelf, then they put it back. <laughs> they take it off, put it back, rebrand it. That's all they do. Let's see, I'm scrolling back now. Scrolling back now. <laughs> Yeah, what questions y'all got? Y'all want to talk about health, finance, mindset, motivation? Y'all want to ask me? I realize y'all like to ask me, what about this brand? What about this this protein powder? And I'll be having to look it up because I don't be knowing what the shit is. 
because I don't buy it. I did that video. I streamed uh, the live replay yesterday of me breaking down all the unhealthy vegan foods. And probably like 10 people commented. Why do you keep supporting them then? If it's unhealthy, why are you supporting it? Because I bought it so I could show y'all dumbasses the dumb ingredients that you're putting in your mouth every single day. Now you're going to attack me because I'm... <laughs> Because I have it in hand. Damn, can I do anything right? <laughs> Leave me alone. That's why I don't even be on here no more. I be living my life. I let my virtual assistant post my lives. Because I found a new way where I can go live without actually being live. And I can just post all my old lives as new lives and make y'all think that I'm live. So I don't even be on my phone that much anymore. I'm retired. Does the sun cause cancer? No, it doesn't. <laughs> Does the sun cause cancer? That's insanity. It's insanity for you to ask if something you need to stay alive, something that wakes you up, something that the ancient Egyptians and Kemet worshipped. I'm in Ra, the sun god, because they know when it's sunny, I'm in a better mood. When the sun come up, we ain't got no alarm clocks. We ain't got no stopwatches. We ain't got no... We can feel the sun. Look, I can... You ever... Look, close your eyes. Look out in the sun. Right? Close your eyes. And you can feel the sun through your eyelids, right? So that's when you know, like, oh, it's time to wake up. I don't need no alarm clock. Right? And it's sunny, so I'm in a better mood. Right? <laughs> I don't know about y'all, but I get it. Like, if I'm tired, I go down and walk the beach. I go downstairs and walk the beach. Right? And I get more energized from the sun just being on my skin. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's harder from the Bronx, New York, though. Depends on where you're at, though. That's another reason why it's important to get finances. Get your money up. You need to get your money up so that you can buy your land. So that you can grow your plants. So that you can, so that you can live on the beach where you can ground in the sand. Or live in an area where there's a lot of grass and trees, right? Versus living in an area where it's the concrete jungle, it's nothing but asphalt and carbon monoxide and dioxide from the cars driving by your house, right? Or living next to a neighbor who smokes cigarettes. I've been there. Do you ever live next to a neighbor who smokes cigarettes? So that, and then the system, whatever, it come through your ventilation. I remember I lived at an apartment. That was when I was in Maryland when I moved from West Virginia. And I almost got evicted because my house always smelled like weed. I don't smoke weed. I never have in my life. But they came and put a letter on my door because people were saying it was coming from my house when, in fact, it was my neighbor who was smoking weed all day, every day. And whatever room they was smoking in, the ventilation system, they was blown out and was coming right into my kitchen. So I almost got evicted. And I don't even smoke weed. <laughs> it's important to get your finances right. You can get away from neighbors like that, right? You can get away from the cigarette smoke, from the weed smoke, because that's not good for you either, right? When you add heat, when you add heat to these things, it's no longer good for you. I've been telling y'all that for years. Any good investment recommendations? How much money you got, right? You, you wouldn't be asking that question. I'll give you a good investment recommendation, right? Invest your free time into my 20,000 plus free videos, right? Go watch many of my hour plus long live replays talking about crypto and other investment strategies on my YouTube channel where I put my replays, right? And then once you invest your free time into the free knowledge, if that's still not enough, invest $29.99 to learn 10 plus streams income in my exact crypto notifications and investments and coins that I recommend and price targets and take profit strategies and course so you completely understand what the hell I'm talking about and what the notifications mean. All for $29.99, right? That would be a great investment for you. So then you wouldn't have that question. Link in the bio. Yeah. Let me see. Hey, I want to. Hey, how are you doing? I want to know on a busy schedule. What do you suggest for lung detox for better breathing, swollen legs and a full detox? Let me ask you a question. What does the busy schedule have to do with you fueling your body properly? Right? So I feel like in that question, there's already an excuse. 
you usually offend at my page ain't for you. Click that unfollow, block me, do what you got to do to be a loser in life. Because <laughs> if you block me and unfollow me, you're just losing value. Because I bring nothing but value to the world. You understand it, right? But no, for real, I feel like in that question, <laughs> you made an excuse, right? So let's erase that excuse. What do you suggest for a lung detox? Mullen leaf, fennel greek is great for cleansing the lungs. For better breathing, that'll help with that. Swollen legs, you need those blood cleansing herbs that I recommended. Burdock root, yellow dock, dandelion, Jamaican sarsaparilla, cleanse the blood, right? To get the swelling down in the legs, the lymphedema, whatever they diagnose you with, right? If you got swelling, I'm sure you got pain, which means you have inflammation, which means they probably, if they haven't yet, will soon diagnose you with all right, arthritis, gout, whatever other names they make up, right? And you want a full detox. So you can simply do, no matter how busy your schedule is, right? Because let me tell you the good the good thing. When it comes to food, it's I have a busy schedule, so I can't eat healthy. <laughs> Bullshit. Cause you don't even gotta cook fruit. You don't even got you don't need a pan. You don't need oil. You don't need a timer on your microwave. You don't need a microwave. You don't need a uh uh you don't need a fucking can sorry. Part of you don't need a, a can opener. You don't need to preheat the oven. You don't need a cover for the microwave so it don't splatter. Whatever other you you don't need a fork. You don't need a spoon. You don't need a knife. So it's super convenient. You can just walk out your house with the peach in hand and just bite it. So what the hell? Because you're busy, my bitch. It's so hectic. It's so hectic, I couldn't even bite the apple. <laughs> Liar. You're lying to my face. And now I don't like you. <laughs> so, I just got to make them think. Some of the things is so like, I'll read my comment section. And I don't know if it's because I've just been doing it so long where I'm just fed up with y'all. And I just be like, disgusted. Like, yo. And you wrote that and you really thought you made a good point. You really thought you had a valid. <laughs> you really thought you said something legit. Huh? I'm like, yo. Got that same comment yesterday. Somebody said, I looked at my phone. Oh, my grandma's been eating hot dogs. Shut up. <laughs> Not even. <laughs> don't write that say well my grandma's been eating hot dogs at t walk what do you think about this what should you think i'm about to sit here and write a paragraph breakdown about how your grandma ate hot dogs and she's still alive like, if you don't understand by now that i don't give a damn about your grandma <laughs> because studies show statistics we go off the of numbers we can all name that one person who smoked cigars and cigarettes their whole life and ate slim gyms for lunch breakfast and dinner, right? And still alive. That does not change the fact that most people who do that will die of a very gruesome death and painful in the nursing home, in the hospital, right? Another thing, it's important to get your blood work done. If y'all had seen, I posted on my story yesterday, got my blood work done. I always check my blood work, you know, get all my lab work done, perfect health, no health issues at all. Everything is perfect ranges. Right, the eating alkaline is unhealthy because it'll. If you're too alkaline, you'll throw off your phosphorus levels in your. You know, what about your iron and your iron intake and your? You know, you know, you know. All my levels is perfectly fine. The only people who say that are people who are lacking knowledge on what a real plant-based diet should be. Right. I got news for you: Beyond Burgers, Impossible Meat, canned llama beans, <laughs> uh, Chipotle sofrito bowls with unlimited white rice and black beans and <laughs> highly processed apple juice with added sugar. That's not going to get you healthy. Yeah, you can put hashtag plant-based on all your posts when you do that. <laughs> if that makes you feel good and sleep better at night, it's not going to improve your health, though. If it makes you feel good as I haven't had meat in four years, then why is your blood pressure higher? Why is your blood sugar higher? Why are you heavier, right? Why do you have less muscle, right? And you need muscle. You need muscle to improve your metabolism. People are like, well, my metabolism, 
my metabolism so the way my metabolism works your metabolism works like that because you don't put in no work like that and now your metabolism is broke because you ain't got no muscle which helps speed up your body's metabolism you ain't lifting nothing you're like well i work i'm on my feet that is not resistance training that is not building lean muscle it's like well i checked you got your uh what is it, the apple watches i did twenty thousand steps today i don't understand i've been i've been looking for the month i've been doing twenty thousand steps a day but i'm still not losing weight and i still got all this loose skin on my on my thighs and my quads are still weak i don't understand it's not the same it's not the same it's like telling who's a bodybuilder arnold schwarzenegger it's like arnold schwarzenegger right trying to dunk the basketball and touch the top of the backboard and being like i don't understand i i squat i squat every day I squat every day. I don't understand why I can't touch the top of the backboard and windmill and jump higher than Michael Jordan because I train legs more than Michael Jordan does. It's not the same. It's a whole different style. It's a whole different repetition. It's a whole different <laughs> rest period, sets, reps, right? It's a whole different style. So when y'all think y'all walking at work is keeping you healthy, it's not. Yeah, I don't work out, but I do. I'm a nurse, so I walk the floor. You're still going to get unhealthy. You it's not the same as working out, right? You didn't get your heart rate in the right range, right? I don't know. I'm just going off at the top right now. Let me see. How do you, that goes into what I'm saying. Somebody says, how do you avoid loose skin when exercising? You avoid loose skin by building lean muscle and doing resistance training. Most people that exercise, again, if you're new to my page and new to who I am, I've ran all the top gyms. I've been a general manager, top sales manager at all your favorite gyms, Lifetime Athletics, Gold's Gym, EOS Fitness, uh, where else? You name it, right? So I did all the in-person consultations, right? I was the annoying person that came up to you on a treadmill and convinced you to have a, have a free workout with me so I could sell you on a $5,000 package <laughs> that is a... Uh, a contract that if you cancel, it's a cancellation. I did all that. That's why I'm like, yo, y'all be hating on me for charging twenty nine ninety nine per month to get everything you get. Go to the gym. Go get you a personal trainer at Gold's Gym. <laughs> they about to put you on a year contract. You got to buy yourself out. I did it all, right? But anyways, I say that to say, people sign up. They go right to the treadmill, right to the elliptical. Press quick start. They almost never go to the Stairmaster because that's the hard, hardest form of cardio, right? For most people and you would never want to do anything that's hard on your body right you want to do the most laziest thing possible i'm gonna quick press quick start on a treadmill i'm gonna put it on 2.2 speed no incline i got my phone i'm about to yeah i'm gonna act like i'm doing something i'm gonna take a little video at the gym hashtag planet fitness hashtag new year new me right and you're gonna do that for 10 20 minutes five six days a week right for about three weeks before you give up because you realize you got no results in those three weeks and you have no discipline, determination, dedication, no consistency ever throughout your life. So why would that change in the gym, right? And on top of that, you weren't doing the proper things in the gym. And on top of that, all you did was burn some calories, which may be on that treadmill for 30 minutes. You might have burned 300 calories. Then you go eat a Snickers later that night, which is 600 calories. So you might, all you, <laughs> you're still positive. Let's not even name everything else you ate that day. And now you give up because you've actually did the opposite of progress and you've actually got worse since working out because you have no idea what you're doing but it feels good to waste your thirty dollars a month to go to gold's gym and it feels good to waste your gas in an hour commute to the gym to feel like you're doing something when in fact you're wasting your time because you didn't do the first thing the first step which i always tell you on anything is investing you didn't invest in no knowledge on what to do you go to all the machines you say man let me see this Okay, the picture says, okay, so just shoulder press. Okay. Well, I did like eight of those. What's this one? Oh, this looks like it works here. This muscle right here. I don't know what that is. Ooh, that burns, baby. That burns. <laughs> and this is why people give up, right? Because people jump into things without any knowledge on how to do those things. That's why most people fail. I'm going to type, when I think of doing something, I'm going to sit down and I'm going to take notes. I'm going to learn. I'm going to listen from somebody who's already done it first before I ever take any action. 
before I ever take any action. You understand that? People just be moving. People think that because you're moving, because you're doing something, that you're progressing. Like y'all get excited. Oh, I, I'm. I signed up for overtime every day at work. And you think that means you're progressing in life because you're moving more, because you're working more. But you're actually working more unintelligently because now you're spending more time to make a millionaire, a billionaire, more money while they take time away from you, which you could be using that extra two hours a day. If you're doing two hours extra overtime every day of the week, five days a week, that's an extra 10 hours per week that you could be investing into learning a high income earning skill set so that within a few years you could be out of that job and have your own shit and no boss and no schedule i'm only telling y'all my life story <laughs> everybody i'll be on the uh on the forklifts pulling up the other employees like hey i was when i got off work yesterday i went home and i was watching this youtube video i watched this free webinar on youtube this dude blah 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 and he was saying this and he was saying how he made it out and blah blah, blah. and they're like yeah nah, but i know yeah, I just ain't got time. I gotta work overtime. Then the boss will be like, hey, who wants overtime? We're allowing everybody to stay over two hours. I'll be the only one that leave. It'd be like 12 people on the ship on the forklifts. I'll be the only one that leave. And all of them would may be mad at me. I didn't get no favoritism from the bosses and the supervisors. All my coworkers kind of, he, he must not want no money. Tevin must not want no money because he don't want to stay two hours over every single day and sign up for Saturdays and work 10 hours extra on Saturdays. He must not want no money. All those people who said I didn't want no money still work at the warehouse. When I go back in town and I catch up with the few people I do talk to, they're like, yo, so-and-so still there? Like, yeah, they be asking about you. They be like, yo, what kind of car Tevin got now? What kind, where he living now? Where he travel to now? Y'all was pulling up to you on the forklift, coming up with an escape plan from this shit. And y'all was talking shit because I ain't want to work overtime. I wanted to get home as quick as possible so I could get on my laptop, so I could get on my phone, because this is when YouTube first came out and all that, so I could learn, so I could take notes. But I was crazy. Somebody comment three if you understand what I'm saying. I only tell y'all real stories. One second, I got to check a text. Don't leave. Don't leave. While you're waiting, text the word T-Walk to the phone number 41372. Get that free guy to Foods to Eat, Foods to Avoid, and you'll get the link to my holistic health and Finance University, which is $29.99, which is the dollar per day to learn holistic health from beginner to expert, 10 plus streams of income from beginner to expert, my exact crypto investments, where many of my members have already 3X, 4X, 5X their money, and we're just getting started, but you're running out of time before it really takes off and you, you miss the easiest money you ever made in your life. I give you my exact investment, never been done before. And any questions you have on crypto or on holistic health or your specific disease, Ask it in the private telegram group and me or my group specialists who I've mentored to make sure they know everything I know will get back to you quick. So there's no excuses in life other than I don't got twenty nine ninety nine. I seen Netflix just increase their subscription price to like twenty three. Otherwise, you get the low quality. I know all y'all bumped y'all subscription up for Netflix just so y'all can watch more Jeffrey Dahmer documentaries. Losers. I'll be right back. <laughs> can y'all still hear me? Can y'all still hear me? I'm sweating. Turn my AC up a little bit. <laughs> Losers. <laughs> you usually offend it. If you don't like dark comedy, my page ain't for you. Yo, where the veggies at? What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> mind. Hey. Mind optimization. What does that mean? Yo, where the veggies at? I don't know what that means. <clears throat> They're probably at your local farmer's market. <laughs> yeah, I see y'all the three. So y'all understanding me. Y'all understanding me. Yeah, link in the bio or direct message me your health issue. Before, at the beginning of this live, I said the first 50 people who direct message me their health issue, I'll um, send you a personal audio message response back. So I'm about to hop off here, though. Y'all got any other questions? Any other topics y'all want me to talk about? <clears throat> how long it took you to get where you at go watch it go to my youtube channel go watch my i mean you can see i've been making videos for 10 years straight shit like 11 years now what are we in 20 this is 2024 right this is 2024 right i've been making videos for like 11 years straight right i've been learning paying different mentors 
spent over $300,000 on different mentors to learn all the knowledge I've obtained, which I now give back to y'all for $29.99. Um, a lot of what you could say failures and lessons and got scammed many times for hundreds of thousands of dollars along the way. So I took all the bumps, the bruises, the losses, so that now I can teach y'all how to not make the same mistakes, how to invest properly, how to know what to look for. You know, I went from bad health to perfect health. Um, so, I mean, yeah, I really got into the knowledge, like, I guess you can say into the knowledge, like around like 20 or so. I don't know, something like 20 or so. And then just been grinding from there. But yeah, 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 you know. But 2020 was when I first quit my job. 2020, videos on my page where I'm in the kids club at the gym at the time saying this is gonna be my last day ever working a job. That video's on my page. I repost it periodically. I got videos of me on the forklift, throwing around the 55 gallon uh, blue drums of cleaning products and shit, right? But see, once it clicks, you know, once it clicks and you got the knowledge, then things get easier and easier. First, it's like, yo, how am I ever going to figure this out? Oh, this person saying this, this mentor saying this and making it sound easy. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. And again, I struggled in school. So just learning anything was like something I felt I struggled with, or at least the teachers made me feel like that because I didn't understand their style of teaching. Didn't resonate with me. Right. But once I, once it clicked, it just, you start realizing how easy life is. You start realizing how easy life is. Right? And again, along the way, you're going to meet some weirdos. Along the way, you're going to get scammed. Along the way, you're going, you know, you're going to go through it. Right? That's my favorite uh, clip is the Nipsey Hussle. Where he's like, yo, I had to go through, I had to go through every emotion. I ain't going to say it was easy. I had to go through every emotion to get to where I got to. But the biggest thing is when you're going through every emotion, you still don't stop. The marathon continues. You still don't stop when everybody's saying you can't and everybody's telling you how hard it's going to be when you're learning something and you feel like you're just not picking it up and it ain't clicking with you no matter how many notes you take when you do it it just ain't working the same when your mentor is saying this and you do it and it don't work at all and you just you got whatever you got no followers you got no money you got no people coming to your business nobody's clicking your links whatever it may be you just got to keep focused and realize anytime something's not working you got to realize there's something i'm missing there's something i'm missing that i'm doing wrong i'm not going to sit here and cry and mope and say oh it's just not working for me it's not meant for me i'm just not good enough my personality's not good enough i don't look good enough my abs aren't abbing enough to be a no online influencer right <laughs> these are the things that come into people's head i realize when i mentor people and talk to people right no matter all that you have to Wipe all those thoughts away and realize that you're not educated enough on that topic. Because if you were, it would be working just like it is for other people. Right? Right? You got to be resilient. You know what I mean? And it's like, a lot of people don't get that. Yeah, people make up every excuse. That's why I tell you all my life story. That's why my life story is on my YouTube channel. So you can understand what I came from. Like, it ain't much. So if I can do it, you can do it. If I can go from poor health and all these diseases they told me I had to perfect health and no diseases without using any pills, any therapist. If I can go from wanting to end my existence to perfectly, perfectly sane. <laughs> Some of y'all might beg to differ, right? <laughs> to perfectly sane and no longer having those thoughts and no longer having anxiety and depression and doing it all with no pills and no therapist myself. You can too, right? If I can go from broke, working in warehouses, working in gyms, working at GNC, making $10 an hour, working at FedEx, working at Quad Graphics, working at Ecolab, working at UPS, overnight, throwing boxes, packing trucks, building, uh, what do they call it? You know? To making six figures per month, right? You can do it too. I'm a normal person like you. You just missing the knowledge. And again, I assure you, nobody's giving you all the knowledge for the price I'm giving it to you for, because all the knowledge you're coming to me to get, I only have the knowledge. All, if any of y'all think I'm smart, understand you only think I'm 
intelligent or smart or even witty or <laughs> motivational. You only think that because I spend all my free time and my money paying people who when I knew I wasn't smart and knew I didn't have the best personality and knew I wasn't the best at talking on camera and knew my business wasn't set up properly and knew my website sucked and knew I was broke. I only developed this because I was paying people who had everything I wanted. So I paid somebody to learn how to talk on camera. I paid somebody to learn how to be an online trainer. I paid somebody to learn how to set up my business and my back end and my funnels and my email marketing and my text list. And I paid somebody to learn, to learn how to be more motivational, right? I watch motivational speakers 24 seven in my free time. I watch comedians 24 seven in my free time because I like to add comedy to my teachings. So therefore the people that think I'm funny, you only think I'm funny because I study comedians and I study their body language and what they do with their hands and their facial expressions and everything. Because it makes you, a lot of you aren't likable people. If you would have met me 10, 15 years ago, if I would have pulled my camera up and talked 10, 15 years ago, which I did 10 years ago, nobody liked me. Nobody cared about my personality. I wasn't interesting. You know why I wasn't interesting? Because I ain't been through shit yet. I didn't have enough failures and losses and setbacks and come ups yet. So you got to go through it to get to it. You follow me? Somebody comment, free game. Somebody comment, free game. Right? A lot of y'all suck because you ain't invested no money and time on learning how to not suck. A lot of y'all make videos, right? It's 2024. I'm going to go ahead and say going into 2025 at the time of this recording. Right? You ain't even got a link in your bio. You talking about I hate my job. I want to be a, I don't want to have my own business one day. If it's 2024 and you don't have a link in your bio, you are going to be working a long time. <laughs> You're going to be working a long time. And that might offend some of you. And your your first, first thought to that is going to be, why would I have a link in my bio? I don't sell nothing. I don't have a business. I don't even know what I want to do yet. Correct. That's a big issue. Y'all watching me, you're in your 20s, 30s, 40s, older. And you ain't set down from the little bit of time you get from your job and say, I'm not going out this weekend, I'm not partying, I'm not having girls night, I'm not having guys night, I'm not playing Xbox, I'm not going to the movies, I'm not going on this trip. I need to sit down in silence and really thoroughly analyze what do I like? How can what I like make me money? Let me research and Google and YouTube and TikTok other people who are doing what I like and dang, they seem to be living a pretty good life. I wonder how they made money doing that. You ain't spent no time searching that. You ain't got no link in your bio. You ain't got no business. You ain't got no LLC. You ain't got no S Corp. You ain't got no, you ain't got a Coinbase account. You ain't got a Robinhood account. You ain't ever watched a YouTube video on how to get my first investment property. You ain't ever watched a YouTube video on how to buy land. But you want all these things, but you ain't doing nothing. You're doing nothing. So many people are doing nothing. It blows my mind. It blows my You understand how many people have passed away? I be thinking, like, I be like, yo, I know a good amount of things. You know how many people have died and don't know half of the things I know? And I still feel like I don't know shit. So imagine how miserable their life was. So keep it real. We all got family members and friends that would just be miserable and depressed and it's like yo because they don't be doing nothing but bullshit spending all their money on food and not to eat and you know you ain't got a ledger talk to them <laughs> it'd be sad so you be feeling like they stuck but you only stuck because you're literally doing nothing and again the thing that you think you are doing is working more overtime that's not gonna get you your dream life do you understand that right I know a lot of y'all feel like you need to work overtime right now because you got to, you say, well, how am I supposed to pay the bills? How am I supposed to pay the bills? Even when it comes to employment, if you upgrade your knowledge and your skill set, you'll be able to get a higher paying job for the meantime to where you don't have to work the overtime and can still make the same thing. So it, so it still comes down to lacking knowledge. A lot of y'all, let's say you, we'll keep using the warehouse as an example. When I worked at a warehouse, if for some reason, 
the original manager came in one day and said, Tevin, I'm making you the manager of this warehouse. You start tomorrow. I would have got fired within a week because I didn't have the knowledge on what needs to be done on the computer system, on how to do this. If somebody has trouble clocking in, what do I do? I wouldn't have known because I didn't have the knowledge. So even if we don't go to entrepreneurship, a lot of y'all with jobs, you would be making more so where you don't need to work overtime if you just locked in and got more knowledge on what it is you're doing. That way you can work less overtime and use those extra two hours, four hours, 10 hours plus a week of overtime that you're working to be able to put into yourself, into your business, into who you really want to be. I'm giving y'all a lot of game. I'm giving y'all. This is why I take breaks from going live because when I go live after not going live for a while, it just be better. Because when I go live every day, I start feeling like I'm saying the same shit every day. You know? <laughs> Somebody comment free game where I'm out of here. Cause y'all don't appreciate y'all don't appreciate what you got. What's that song? Oh he always seems to go. And you don't know what you got till it's gone. I don't know the words to the song, but I know you don't know what you got till it's gone. <laughs> you don't know what you got till it's gone, right? I'm telling you. <laughs> Period. <laughs> Free game. Pay attention. If the coconut water ain't pink, don't drink. If the watermelon ain't got black seeds, you don't need. If the fruit ain't got seeds, you don't need. If the coconuts don't got the stem, the real ones, they ain't dumb. <laughs> hey, y'all know my phrase. Do what you got to do. Do what you got to do because it's that simple. I don't believe in if, try, can't, almost, or maybe. I get it done. No excuses, nothing to it, but to do it, point your finger in the mirror if you blew it. It's your fault. Take accountability. You hate your life? You did it. You hate your bank account? It's your fault. You hate your health? You hate your belly fat? You put the burger in your mouth. You. Nobody else did. You hate the fact that your kids are overweight? You drove to McDonald's and bought them food. Right? You hate the fact your kids are on pills? You drove to Burger King and Chick-fil-A and got them the, the food and the shakes. Right? You got the you got the Twizzlers in the cabinet. You got the Takis in the cabinet. It's your fault. What I do in life, I find a way to make everything my fault. And I know that can sound bad, but it actually works pretty well for me. But if you're soft, it won't work. <laughs> Anyways, y'all know the phrase. Hit y'all with that. And y'all know, I'm on a holistic mission of self-healing. And I can't deny, I won't even lie, it's the best feeling. Self-healing's the best feeling, right? You wouldn't know because you don't know why you ain't feeling right. It's probably because your acidity's on infinity. pH lower than Cinco, but they ain't feeling me. So should I slow it up? Nah, trade acidic junk for alkaline food and watch your pH levels go on up. Don't bring a knife to a gunfight. You don't need prescription pills. Just need some herbs with some sunlight and a plant-based diet. Yeah, you should try it. T-Walk will have you feeling brand new. You can't deny it. You ever heard of sarsaparilla, burdock, sea moss? Few of my top picks from the herb shop. Bladder rat, yellow dot with some stinging nettle. Come on, it's time to detox from all the heavy metals. Let's start treating your body like a temple. The holistic God. Do what you got to do. It's simple. <laughs> I'll let y'all later. Peace out. If you're watching this replay on YouTube, click the thumbs up. Comment free game. Comment where you're from. Let me know. Let me know where you um let me know where you're at, where you're from. It motivates me to let me know how many lives I'm impacting I'm impacting from all over the world. Uh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let me see. I ain't hit y'all with the holistic ratchet bars in a while. I gotta hit y'all with that on the story. <laughs> I gotta hit y'all with that on the story. Broward in the building. I think that's Houston, Texas. Arizona. Who else we got? Who else we got? Yo, I've been sending this car a while. I'm about to I need to check my phone real quick. Hold on. We appreciate it. Shout out to y'all. Yeah, I'm gonna hop off again. First 50 people to direct message me. 
your health issue. If you're not in the, if you're in a university, you don't need to direct message me your health issue because you can ask all your questions in the Telegram group for a much quicker response. But if you're not, direct message me your health issue you're dealing with, your disease. I'll send you a personal audio message response to get you get you right. Yeah, Pembroke Pond. I don't know where that is. Cali, Cali. Yo, I ain't been. I just realized I ain't been to California since. Not since I moved, but damn, I used to always go back after I moved. I ain't been back to California like, like, almost two years now. It's crazy. Yeah, I'll let y'all later though. Peace out. I'm dropping. Uh, I recorded like ten new videos. Let me see if it's on this phone. No, if it transferred to the cloud. Let me see. Let me see. Hey, y'all know I cut, I'll be cutting, fade my own hair and shit, so I had to take a picture. <laughs> I got to make sure my joint crispy. I got to make sure my joint crispy. So I got to take a picture. I got to hold the mirror and be like, hold on. I do everything myself. I do everything myself. I got the freshest fade on the block, and I did it myself. <laughs> Who your barber? Me. Who, who's your social media? Me. Who writes all your content? Me. Who? Me. Who, me, me, I've done it all for 10 years straight. No excuses. Let me see, alkaline topics, alkaline topics folder. There we go. There we go, that boy, un unlimited free game. Oh my good, 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 goodness, unlimited free game. Unlimited, does it ever, does this boy ever shut up and stop giving out free information to help save people's lives oh my oh my does it ever stop oh it, it never stops you mean to tell me it just never stops <laughs> free game jesus jesus christ <laughs> yo that's insane why well, ain't loading i was about to play y'all an exclusive but I ain't loading how to reverse inflammation Secret melons to heal. Fix damaged liver. Remove cyst. I posted that today. How to fix endometriosis. I posted that yesterday. Talked about the mame sapote. Adrenal glands. Foods to heal the adrenal glands. Secret healing cactus. Adre <sighs> Come on. Yo, it never stops. I'll let y'all later. Peace out. New content coming soon. But the most exclusive content is really going to change your life is in a holistic health university. Because it takes you step by step. Right? A lot of y'all listen to my free advice or your other favorite people's free advice on Instagram and it's great but the problem is you be doing things out of order you be all over the place this person said this this workout said this this butt workout did this she did that and you be lost right so get a program get structure get the mentorship whether it's group mentorship one-on-one -on -one mentorship with somebody else I don't do that I only do the group group mentorship in the university because I don't feel right charging y'all four or five thousand ten dollars like all your other favorites do you know what I mean so I got one price point $29.99 a dollar per day. If not, free advice. That's it. Don't hit me up. How much you charge for this? One last story. I'll tell y'all one last story while I'm waiting. I was doing, shit, this is probably three years ago where I was doing the one-on-one -on -one mentorship. This dude hit me up. He wanted to, um, I ain't really want to do it. He kept begging me. He was like, oh, I want you to mentor me. I want to be just like you. So I'm like, all right, who am I to, who am I to deny another T-walk walking around? <laughs> So anyways, he paid me. And when he said he wanted to be just like me, I didn't think it was literally. So I'm mentoring him on how to grow his social media, knowledge on holistic health and all that. So he could put his own twist on it, be, in, be his own personality and all that, right? This man started copying every single one of my videos word for word, buying cheaper versions of my luxury luxury sunglasses and shiny sunglasses. He was a white dude too, putting do colorful do rags on, yelling, pay attention and free game. <laughs> I'm like, hold up. You paid me thousands of dollars just to copy my videos? You could have did that for free, but I appreciate the money. <laughs> Come in one of y'all. <laughs> Come in one of y'all listening to what I'm talking about. This is why I don't. <laughs> It would be interesting, yo. So, comment one if you're following what I'm saying. <laughs>
if, just comment one if it's still here. So I'm like, yo, you paid me a couple thousand just to copy every single one of my videos, word for word, use my exact catchphrases, go shopping on Amazon to try to find my exact outfits and color combinations, right? And I seen it and I would tell him, like, yo, yeah, that was, that was, you did, that video was good. You just, you sound a lot like me. <laughs> word for word, you didn't change a word. You literally had to have the other phone you literally had to have your phone playing my video and say, all right, how to, right? Tonsils, independence removal is dangerous. Pay attention. All right, you said it and you paused it and you pulled out your camera and said, tonsil independence removal is dangerous. Pay attention, right? So long story short, I was mentoring this person. I was doing my best to get him to be different because it got to a point where people were sending me his videos and saying, yo, who's this clown? Who's this white dude trying to copy all your content? Not knowing that I'm mentor. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. Jesus Christ. <laughs> and I'll be like, that's crazy. I don't know who this boy is. He wild. <laughs> I wasn't claiming that shit because I never told this white boy to put on a purple do-rag and the gold glasses like me and copy my exact words. I never told him to do that. <laughs> so I coached him so because he was copying my stuff though and I was giving him recommendations on how to change you know his hashtag all the stuff right he started getting followers right and he started getting he had a couple videos do like 50 100,000 views this is back when all my videos before the shadow ban all my videos was doing minimum 200 500,000 views right he started getting some videos popping off the videos that was popping off was my best videos because he was stealing them verbatim, right? But he couldn't take it. So he actually started getting the following. Then he would text me, be like, T-Walk, I don't understand. Why are all these people in my comments telling me I don't know what I'm talking about? Why are they all calling me assholes, T-Walk? T-Walk, you got any advice? I woke up today to 100 comments of people saying I'm a dumbass bitch. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, so if you woke up to 100, that means I woke up to 5,000. Welcome to a day in my life. <laughs> you said you wanted it. Don't tell me you're soft. I, if you're soft, it ain't for you. So long story short, he was soft. And within like two months, mind you, you paid me a couple thousand, right? Within a few months, he had finally got some momentum. And then he deleted all his accounts. I never heard from him ever again, right? He even had sent me a video testimonial like six months prior before I started mentoring him on business, but I was mentoring him on health because I helped him. He got rid of diabetes, high blood pressure. He lost like 65 pounds, a couple other things too. So after he deleted all his counts, probably like three months later, I'm like, yo, this man really deleted all his counts and just gave up on his whole dream and paid me all that money just to disappear because he couldn't take the negative comments, right? And then like three months later, hit me up. He said, yo, don't ever post my video testimonial again. I'm sorry that I ever thought that I could be you and now I don't want people to even see my face on the internet and I'm ashamed of myself. So I'm like, okay, well, at least you tried. Not really, you gave up on yourself in three months. Couldn't handle, you mean that you was about to be popping online? You mean you was about to be popping and make money and have money to invest and I was mentoring you one-on-one -on -one and you just gave up because you couldn't take 50 negative comments? people soft anyways i'll let y'all later <laughs> more of the story don't be soft because the world wants you sick broke stupid and soft understand that so do the opposite of 95 percent of the world because that's what 95 percent of the world is and are once you do the opposite life becomes easy all right it's super easy how did i get successful and healthy i just ate the opposite of what 95 percent of people are eating how did i get the finances i have and the freedom i have so that every day is friday saturday sunday because I did the opposite of 